Hi everyone. This is regarding computer architecture unit 5 memory and IO. So in the last session we had uh, discussed about memory hierarchy, memory technology, cache memory and uh, measuring uh, cache performance. In today's topic uh, let us discuss about virtual memory and TLBs. So before going for the discussion of virtual memory, we shall have a clear cut idea that uh, which one we will be calling it as virtual memory. So uh, a thing virtual is there, there must be some real thing. So here real memory, there is a main memory, actually it is a RAM that we discussed in the earlier uh, session. In the case of virtual memory, uh, this is uh, the memory on disk. So, say for example, uh, uh, in the case of uh, multi-programming, so main memory will be frequently used by the system with the, with the request from the user. So there is some tight constraint with respect to the main memory. So in order to avoid that, we are going to use the virtual memory. So in the case of virtual memory, so there is an allocation scheme, uh, any secondary memory that can be addressed as though it is going to act like a main memory. So that thing we will be calling it as virtual memory. The addresses that the program will be referring to and at the same time addresses that is uh, the memory itself having some uh, physical storage site for identification purpose those two addresses they are distinguished they are they are different but the program generated address that is the first address i told you two things one is program generated address and another one is memory itself they are having some addresses of their own so the program generated address that will be translated automatically and it will be mapped to the actual physical memory address then uh, regarding the size of the virtual storage that depends upon the addressing scheme of the computer system and then the and then also the amount of secondary memory available so based on the addressing scheme and as well as the amount of secondary memory available so it, this thing that is the size of the virtual storage it does not depend upon the actual number of main main storage location And in the case of virtual memory, we should know about the virtual address. So the address assigned to this virtual memory, that will be accessed as though it was a main memory. The same thing we had seen in, uh, in the definition of virtual memory. Then virtual address space. The virtual storage that is uh, assigned to this purpose for the, what all the memory spaces available in secondary storage that is being used for virtual memory case those things we will be calling it as virtual address space then address space the address space is nothing but the range of memory addresses range of memory addresses so they there they will be having some number uh, in the form of hexadecimal starting from 1 up to 1024 like that some address then real address so actually this real address is the actual storage storage location address of the main memory because the virtual address it is with respect to the virtual memory so this virtual memory is going to act as a main memory as a part of main memory so this is going to be mapped with the main memory so a certain part of main memory will be mapped with this virtual case so the address corresponding to that that we will be calling it as real address. Then uh, regarding virtual memory, for the case of virtual memory, two things are happening there. One is paging and another one is segmentation. Any one of the things may happen. So paging and segmentation. In the case of main memory, the memory will be make, you, may make use of by the processor by paging way or segmentation way so the same thing is going to happen in the virtual memory too so virtual memory paging virtual memory segmentation so 
uh, in the case of paging the main memory will be partitioned into small fixed size called frames same way virtual memory is going to be partitioned and that fragment that is the at first the pages the pages are uh, being splitted because of compiler during compilation time this will happen the what all the things going to happen in main memory the same thing is going is happening in virtual memory then the internal fragmentation will be there the pages that will be splitted as frames so this thing will be calling it as internal fragmentation so once page 0 page 1 like that n number of pages are there only pages are going to be splitted they are going to be fragmented then uh, operating system it should maintain a page table because uh, n number of pages are there even uh, frames are also there page number along with the frames in the pages should be maintained similarly a uh, free frame list should also be maintained by the operating system during access time that is processor will make use of these uh, list during access time so that is uh, the processor uses the page number and the offset to calculate the actual uh, absolute address then uh, main memory and virtual memory they are going to be in uh, communication so whether all the pages in the virtual memory should be there in main memory it should not be because if it happens more or less we are making use of the main memory so the pages may be written as needed because which page in the virtual memory is going to be read that corresponding page datas can be viewed with the main memory that is mapping can be done at the time then uh, regarding segmentation instead of uh, pages they will be calling it as segments so overall all the data they will be split into segments instead of uh, making it as page and uh, internally frag fragments here the straight away segments everything is segments then uh, the next concept is thrashing because the thrashing what it is going to do is uh, the system will be having a state in such a way they are going to swap the data rather than executing the instruction because uh, in the case of uh, memories they they will swap the data so that the processor can make use of the data uh, as it needed so this is the problem so in the case of thrashing what happens is based on the recent history the corresponding data will be guessed by the operating system and th that will be made use put to use in the future uh, near future so this is uh, based on predictions so this is called as thrashing then uh, the disadvantages or the problems behind thrashing can be avoided because of uh, principle of locality so principle of locality uh, works based on uh, the name as well as uh, position so the thrashing can be avoided by making use of the principle of uh, locality then uh, regarding uh, the supports needed for virtual memory hardware must support paging and segmentation similarly operating system should have a software that will take care of the movement of pages and segments between the main memory and second memory this movement of pages or the segments between the secondary memory and main memory i had told you as mapped so which page is going to be uh, moved from secondary memory to main memory temporarily if that uh, page is uh, access gets over the next page can be so this is regarding the address translation in paging system you can see in the first column virtual address page number with the offset that is uh, address value then uh, followed by the page there is a page table there is uh, the, the corresponding page can be accessed the corresponding frame can be accessed or the uh, the frames value can be given to the physical address column along with the offset so address of the frame so that address of the corresponding frame in the page will be given as 